What's up, everyone? Welcome to the May 4th edition of DraftKings Tournament Plays presented by Prize Picks. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. And as a reminder, you get one free month of Awesomeo Plus Platinum when you sign up and make a deposit at Prize Picks. Be sure to use the code Awesomeo to receive a 100% first deposit bonus up to $100. We have a seven game night slate today, six games on the early slate that has already started, uh, seven games upcoming. So, as always, we're going to take a look at three of the top tournament stacks and three of the top tournament pitchers using the top stacks tool and the top pitchers tool on awesomeo.com starting with the top three stacks on DraftKings. number three the los angeles angels are projected for three percent aggregate ownership they have a seven percent chance of being the top scoring stack they have a difficult matchup tonight against garrett whitlock who has made two starts this season and six total appearances he struck out 31.3 percent of hitters he's a lot he only has a 2.56 xfip but he is still a bit of an unproven commodity particularly as a starting pitcher he's likely to be good but uh we know the angels have been a very good offense this year as well. They have a 118 WRC plus, which is one of the highest in baseball. 165 ISO is very respectable as well. They have Mike Trout. They have Shohei Otani. Taylor Ward's off to a good start. Anthony Rendon has been a good hitter for a long time. So still a pretty potent Angels lineup, particularly toward the top for Whitlock to deal with, and they're not getting much ownership. Number two, the New York Yankees projected for 4% aggregate ownership with a 10% chance of being the top scoring stack. They're taking on Yusei Kikuchi, who through his first four starts this season has really struggled. Kikuchi's only struck out 18% of hitters. He's allowed 1.84 home runs per nine innings. He has a 5.29 XFIP. And now he's going up against a Yankees team that has been the best offense in baseball so far. 123 WRC plus for the Yankees, 178 ISO. They have a ton of right-handed power in this lineup, and it's a really difficult spot for Kikuchi to try and get right. It's likely that that we get another uh, underwhelming start from Kikuchi going up against the Yankees tonight. And number one, the Colorado Rockies projected for 14% aggregate ownership with a 17% chance of being the top scoring stack. They are facing Patrick Corbin and the Washington Nationals tonight in Coors Field. Corbin has struck out 23% of hitters this year, but he's also walked 13%. He has a 4.47 XFIP and Coors Field always is uh, the most favorable or at least one of the most favorable hitting parks in baseball, not because of home runs necessarily, but because there's a massive outfield where um, it, it's just difficult for outfielders to catch everything. So balls that would be caught in other parks fall in for singles, balls that, you know, in the gap would probably be cut off for singles and other stadiums become doubles. And I think that's even more important to note the actual reasoning why Coors Field is such a favorable hitters park, given what we've seen with the baseballs so far early in the season, you're not getting a lot of home runs really regardless of, of what park you play in. So playing in a park like Coors Field that just increases the number of hits on balls in play becomes even more important. Looking at the top three tournament pitchers, number three, Alex Wood, taking on his former team, going up against the Los Angeles Dodgers in L.A. Wood has made four starts this year. He has struck out 22.6% of hitters. He has a 2.98 XFIP. Uh, he has allowed 1.4 home runs per nine innings, but that's likely to come down going forward. He is He does have a difficult matchup with the Dodgers. Um, LA has a 108 WRC plus. They've only struck out 21 and a half percent of the time this year, but Wood is $9,200. He's only projected for about 1% ownership and he has an 11% chance of being a top two scoring pitcher on this slate. Number two, on the other side of that game, Tony Gonsolin is $8,600 facing the Giants. He has only struck out 18 and a half percent of hitters this year. He has a 4.2 XFIP, um, but he's relatively inexpensive at 8,600. He's not a bad pitcher overall going back to you know, previous years. And he's only projected for 8% ownership with a 13% chance of being a top two pitcher. And the number one tournament pitcher tonight, Nestor Cortez, difficult matchup against the Toronto Blue Jays. He's $9,900. He has struck out 35.9% of hitters through his first four starts this year. That is inflated in part because of a unbelievably good outing against Baltimore, but overall he's just been great um, striking out a lot of hitters 2.06 XFIP. You are paying a premium for him now, and it is unlikely that he maintains this level of success going forward, but he does appear to be a, a good pitcher. He he's, de he's deceptive. He's able to get strikeouts that way. Uh, Toronto has a 105 WRC plus and 22.6% strikeout percentage so far this year. Cortez has an 8% chance or sorry, Cortez is projected for 8% ownership with a 23% chance of being a top two scoring pitcher on DraftKings. So to recap the top, three tournament stacks on DraftKings. Number three, the Los Angeles Angels. Number two, the New York Yankees. Number one, the Colorado Rockies. And the top three tournament pitchers, number three, Alex Wood. Number two, Tony Gonsolin. And number one, Nestor Cortez.